Hello viewers, I'm SB, and welcome back to Rubicon, here in Rain World. Uh, we're going to try our level best to find some food and make some forward progress that we actually get to keep. You know what? Hold on, is there still food back here? Because this is where we got the food that we were eating. No, no, it does not seem like any part of the creature is still... No, okay, there is one in there. Hey you, come out. Come out and play. Actually, can I just kill you while you're in there? Yes. Okay. Food problem resolved. Okay, so now we get to execute one save. Let's try to be smart with it. What I would like to do is actually get through this combat room and the next one before resting, if we can pull it off. All right, so I got one of the spiders right away. Am I reading any motion above us? No, but in the past they have waited for us to, um, to come up there, right? So maybe for the moment, let's just... Oh, hold on, let me make sure I'm in spear in throwing hand. Okay. I think we're actually clear. Now it's just meditating. Meditating to get our greenness back. So I probably need to get to like five ish bars or five ish pips in order to launch three attacks. Yeah, that was just about right. Almost the perfect amount. Okay, so last time we ended up going left. And it worked out. That's right, right was like an area that was underwater, which I do not care for. I think they're both still alive, but maybe stunned. They're both still showing up on the on the map, which makes me feel like Oh, no, maybe not. Okay. And let's just Wait until we're at like five bars, pop this dude, jump inside that shelter right there, and I'm going to feel so much better trying to make forward progress from here. It does feel like there should be a faster way to make this recharge. You know, honestly, there may be. It may just be, but it's a thing I never figured out. Okay, this is a much better position to play from. I'm really glad that that bug respawned. Alright, 
So we know what's ahead somewhat. And it didn't seem like any of it was likely to be, um, you know, full of enemies on future, future movement. We could, I suppose, go take a closer look at that Fez thing. I don't, I don't really want to. I hope that makes sense to everybody. I kind of want to stay focused. Oh, I think that was a food bug. Uh, let's just keep going forward. It's not very hidden. I bet a lot of people go up that side first because it's the closer side. What a weird thing. What a, what a weird thing to put in your video. Like, because when did... When did Downpour actually come out? I guess I don't know exactly, but it would have been long after Fez was popular. Uh, see, I want to kill him, but... He's hovering near the... Um, Near the hard screen transition barrier, we can't even try. Now I can try. Okay. That seems to have been lethal. Although he did reach up for me. As though from beyond the grave. <laughs> I didn't care for that. Okay, I probably don't have to fly to do this. Climbed up here. Oh, it's a pop bug. I was like, is that food? We, if that's food, we need food. All right, I think I'm just gonna try to try to cross the area that we died crossing before. Or rather that we ran out of time crossing. I mean, that's, it is true that we died, but that's why. Ooh. Guess what? <laughs> it's interesting that this one doesn't have a challenge of any kind accompanying it when the last you know it's it's such a deviation from the last couple which is very strange we look at those special effects oh oh I see that liquid is at the top of the room. Do I want that lantern? I kind of don't think so. I think let's go ahead and save here. And then we're going to come out of the save and we're going to immediately jump in the liquid and see if it does, in fact, just completely melt my ass. Because that might be what happened last time is I just I came out and I jumped instinctively because I was like, ah, liquid. And I didn't understand that I was I was not inside of it because I'm below the surface of it, which, you know, usually physics wise has a certain meaning. All right, 
let's find out. Is it instantly lethal? It is. It is basically lava. That's what I figured. That's what it looked like, but figured it was worth knowing. And a death right now is extremely low stakes. Okay, so... This is a waterfront area. Now we're going downward, which is not... Uh, okay. Nope, no, no, sorry, I didn't realize. Okay. And now we're going downward, which is not how we usually want to do things, but also it seems like the entire world is inverted, so... If the world's inverted, then this would be the way to moon, right? She grows concerned. The answer is yes. That is the way to moon. To moon, but I need to... Uh, I think those were grabbable poles partway through. I need to actually do that. Or maybe not, you know? Maybe not. I have all I need to do is get a running start. Well, that's about as close as it gets to running. Are these grabbable? Yes. I don't know if the poles are grabbable, but I do know that the surface is, is connectable. All right. Just hang from your tongue with your entire body weight anchored by your tongue in the most restful way you can you can wreck it. The most, the most restful way you can do this. I mean, going toward moon's gotta be it's gotta be the move, right? It's gotta it's gotta be the thing that they want you to do. People are gonna recognize this area. Can't even tell. Okay, I had to look at the map to understand the shape of the area that we're in. This again looks like exterior. It's like a weird remix of a bunch of maps from various points in the game. Wait, can I? I cannot, in fact, connect to that. We have to fall outside. Yeah, this is an interesting, an interesting thing to do. I do wish, in general, that there was more like new stuff designed for the downpour cats. Ugh, and then this underhanging bit. I remember this real well. Uh, and this is not making me feel that any less, certainly. Oh. Food friend, surrender your foods. No, stop flying. Excellent news. Excellent news. Okay, I don't know exactly where I'm going, but it's probably over here. hearing, yep, many great and powerful lizards, and our friend is down here. So let's give ourselves a little bit more charge than we ordinarily would because we know there are other enemies around, just in case things get hairy. No, 
this is a safe safe side to fall to. And of course now the question is, where do we want to go? These these areas don't necessarily connect to like these well-known screens do not necessarily connect to other well-known screens that they would ordinarily connect to, because obviously otherwise I would just go up into the machine and sleep in the in the place where we know we can safely sleep. I guess let's see what's up here. Oh, maybe it does have the n shape of the machine. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to taking a nap here if we can. Hell yeah. Okay. So yeah, as I was saying, I do wish that there was more new stuff for the slug cats. And the fact that this like very cool, what I'm assuming is climactic area is actually just a bunch of uh, already extant screens re-screen dressed. It's not, it's not like a bad thing. And I, I wanna be clear that I still think this sequence is very cool and it totally works. Um, but it is like an unfortunate thing to put at the end, given the fact that I was feeling that um, so much throughout the game and particularly so much throughout this part of the game. This like underhang of, uh, of Five Pebbles' computer section that you have to cross like 70 times over the five campaigns. I'm assuming I still want to go all the way to the left here. I guess maybe that's not a safe assumption. Um, but also... It seems like food bugs are relatively plentiful in this area, so I thought it would be worth, worth checking. Okay. Oop, there we go. Almost screwed that up in a really silly way. But yeah, this like, this like sort of doomed ooh, that's food the doomed memory version of these places is actually really cool I'm a little curious where this is all headed and if it's going to make the normal slug cats ending any more like comprehensible I probably should have gone through inside the tunnel where we're safe from vultures this was this was likely unwise okay well maybe uh, maybe it ends up not mattering locked us and it popped out two of those. I have to kill them? Okay, the chain is coming from below. Oh, this doesn't actually go anywhere. What am I doing? I should be over here when I'm doing this. Oh. 
that was weird. It rammed me and I lost my hold and I, like, I, I turned on flight for a second there and then it just turned back off. I didn't realize that it was gonna, um, I definitely also was not able to turn the flight on quickly. Like, I kind of think it knocked me out and away. And that's a very annoying thing for it to do. Okay. Oh, it's waiting for me, it's waiting for me, it knows. I just need to wait for this thing to fuck off. I can try killing it. But I'm not confident that I can be safe anywhere for long enough to attack it. Oh no, oh no. And it's so, it's so, um, agile. Like, if I try to go past it, I'm really worried that it's just gonna grow. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Was that an even bigger one? It was a very dramatic entry. Um, it looks like it's probably about the same size, I guess. It's a little more purple. Right, I think this is as good as we're getting. We gotta, we gotta keep moving. Go, 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 go. I will say I really like that there are some enemies who are not trivialized by um, by the power. Chomp, 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 chomp. Oh, all right. That one of those posts over there is in the background, and that's very annoying. Okay, this is fantastic. Full stomach, plus two, plus two units of food. So what does it mean that we came down here? I'm trying to think, like, the... The original slug cat fell down into some spooky liquid and swam for a very long time and part of the problem with interpreting exactly what happened to the original slug cat is that i don't know how much of what i did was actually a necessary part of the thing like i remember swimming downward for a very long time and when i saw when i saw my friend mike do it this this is similar to what happened to him you swim down for a while you get grabbed by like one of those big leviathan worm things. Uh, arbitrarily this way? Oh no. Oh, I hate this area. Uh, it seems to drag you all over the place. And then... And then you swim upward and... You, it is, the world is revealed, like, you, you are, you see a tree, like, made of slug cats. You're swimming with a bunch of other slug cat spirits or something. It's not super clear to me <laughs> what is supposed to be going on. Hmm, I don't know where we are meant to be going. The saint... Goes down to the same area, but he never finds the big pool of liquid. And in fact, the liquid he does find is instantly lethal. And he instead has to travel through the like crazy, crazy nightmare hellified version of a bunch of parts of the rain world. So, like, what are we to draw from this? Okay. 
Okay. No swarm of enemies? Well, I mean, there's an enemy. We'll deal with it after we rest. I think maybe there was a swarm of enemies. Maybe enemies spawned upward. And we were supposed to have gone we were supposed to have gone upward, but I was just so eager to save the game. Yeah, I don't know. The answer is I don't know. The answer is I can't make heads or tails of it. The thing is, like I feel like the original Slugcat story is fairly abstract. There's there's definitely like some spiritual elements to it. Um and then most of the downpour Slugcats have been by contrast uh very straightforward. Straightforward comprehensible tales of wanting to find your way back to your community of loving to eat and be fat like the gourmand and i i connect with the gourmand on a very deep level well shoot this is a loop uh where did i not go i didn't really go down there's that screen there where we could go down i guess that's the play what am i doing this is not how we got in here Uh, the Artificer just loves murder. Just loves to murder a scavenger. Or ten. But, you know, they're all, like, they're all smaller, sort of, more comprehensible stories about the slug cats themselves or about um, pebbles and moon and their friends. Yeah, no, I get it. You don't like me. Boy, from from all the way over there, huh? What are these? Can I eat this? Ah! <laughs> it sounds like it's still moving around. Come on, come on. Ah. Oh. oh. Ran out of juice. It does sound like it's still over there, and I don't care for that. Okay, so it turns out these little plants are edible. Please have vision. Well, I got one of them. Ah, that's why the noises are still happening, because that thing's pushing its corpse. All right, so we came in through the bottom. I guess let's just pick a side. Yeah, that'll work. That seems like an okay side to pick. I remember this area too, obviously. At this point, I'm familiar with many of the areas of the game. I guess, like, to some extent, if they developed more new areas, I mean, first of all, obviously, it would decrease the effectiveness of 
the stuff that was cool about them showing us modifications to the areas, right? About change, seeing them change over time, which is fine. That's it's fine. Um, but also, this stuff might hit a little bit less hard if you didn't recognize every single screen because you've had to go over them, you know, over and over and over again. So I'm trying to remember, like, basically what direction represents progress in each area. And unfortunately, in a lot of ways, it just, like, depends on what you were trying to do, right? Sorry, friends. Wow. That's pretty wild. I forced a lot of its body through the stone there. Okay, feeling pretty good about that. I guess let's try to head down. Seems like it's trying to get someone else. Okay, it blew up one of those bugs. No, let me, let me go on me. <laughs> that was wild. The thing ran over and it like froze time. I was so I was so like flabbergasted by by the new weird looking thing that I didn't I did not do the correct action, which is to obviously kill it immediately. Why don't you just kill it immediately? Okay, well we have an idea where we're going now. Okay, hopefully this area will be a little bit lighter on vultures this time around, because they really do kind of fuck everything up. Oh, did I not grab the... I didn't grab the food. There we go. I still didn't grab the food. I grabbed, like, a rock or something. There we go. Okay. Okay. To the right, keep an eye out for bugs. Okay, it wasn't feeling as aggressive that time. I, I'm not sure what happened. It seemed like the vulture must have like taken its backside off without killing it somehow. Oh, come on. Can't you leave me alone? And in so doing, like, put it into super aggro mode. I kind of want to let this refill before I take off again, just in case. I do not like that at all. want to follow me upward. Alright, 
how many I wish I'd been keeping better track how many more environments are there in the game I'm wondering if we're gonna have to cross areas that represent like every single different one of the biomes wait isn't this yes yes this is a room we've been in already Okay. Did I miss something? There are ways back to the left. I think I think I think this is um dying on purpose. I mean, whatever. I'll try to get my. I'll try to get back over, but you know, not not going out of my way to save myself at this point. No, stop connecting the things and just go into flying mode. There we go. Okay, fine. Yeah, if he's touching anything, he won't fly. And so you jump and you hit both buttons, but also he gets kind of near a pole, and so he just grabs the pole instead. It's very annoying. Okay, so let's try going left out of this room instead. See what awaits us over there. Wow. Double kill. Right, this just goes to here. Uh, we know what's above that area. Huh. I'm not sure where to go. It does kind of seem like we've been everywhere. I must have missed a path somewhere. Okay, so. I mean, one thing I definitely didn't do is go to the left side of the raised area over here. Wow, this room sucks. All I need is for, yeah, just the vulture to eat the other guy. Or drive him off. Drive him off is fine. Okay, yeah. Okay, no, none of the... None of the, um... Things that are usually exits here... Are exits. So we... Uh, used every path that we could see... Oh. Not a safe place to stand, it turns out. It is hard to get a moment to look at the map, though. Ah! Turn around, turn around, turn around. Alright, it's coming after us, I think, but... I need to get down here. Okay, if he comes through while we're, while we're down here, we can zap him before he can get to us, I think. OK, 
Okay. A little bit of peace and quiet. I guess let's see. Maybe there's a... um. Maybe there's another way I could have gone from here. Must you? Oh, I missed so, it was so narrow. We were really close on that one. Yeah, okay. Let's try going down and seeing about um, going to the right or up or right and up. Vulture's always got to show up and ruin everything. This seems like it might be something. Okay, can't go that way. Go this way, though. <sighs> Until we can't anymore. Yep, and dropping down here, you're just gonna end up in the same spot as before. We tried going up into the ceiling in that room and it didn't work. There's got to be some place. Could this, could this be a place that we haven't tried? It can't be, right? Because that would be the only way that we could have reached this room in the first place. Yeah, we must have come from there and the map's just lying to us. It'll probably draw in if we're closer. Okay, that's something back there. There's there, there's stuff that we didn't do over here. Like, way over here. And I guess the best way to get to that would be to, uh... To cross this particular big, 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 big water. I am so hunted. At least we found a good spot to do that this time. Oh god. Okay, y'all heard it make the noise, right? The you are flying noise? I definitely did it. I definitely pressed the buttons to fly. And then it was just like, eh. What if you fell in the water instead, though? Wouldn't that be kind of fun? Wouldn't that be a neat change of pace? I guess so. I mean... <laughs> Obviously, I would hate to seem tedious. You know, I don't need to kill that. Hmm. I can't tell if it's trying to kill me. We know they can be violent. I'm just gonna uh, remove it from the possibility space. Like to see that thing make it over here. She says, immediately beset by vultures. Okay. All right, can I please have just a little bit of safety? 
Notice that that bug can go in the in the lava, and it's totally fine. Also notice, I cannot, in fact, have even a moment of safety. Too late, sucker. <sighs> okay, so the best way to get from here to the places where we haven't searched thoroughly. I mean, I just, I gotta go right. There's not really another way. Should I stop and take the rest that is offered to us? Yeah, maybe. Here we are, and it's looking at me not doing it. Wait, what? Again? I have to admit that I am a little surprised by this. alone. Get him, other lizard. I mean, you can do this all day. It's not actually, not actually harming me, I don't think. I'm just slowly recharging my, uh, my bar. Alright, the giant bug thing killed the red spider for us. That's good news. Yeah, I was kind of assuming we'd be allowed to just uh, run through these freely since we had already cleared them. I didn't realize it was going to respawn all the enemies in every combat room. That shit sucks a lot. Being able to keep an eye on the thing is, like, critically important. Oh, cool. Vulture. Ah. All right. Killed him with the spear. Nope. Didn't kill him. Threw the spear at him in a panic. He's badly wounded. All right. Call it good enough. Gonna have to. Like, for real, fuck these vultures. <sighs> okay. So there are directions that we didn't take somewhere over here to the right, and we're just gonna have to, like wander all the way back around and it's really annoying. I might not have tried to go back this way, this particular way, if I had realized that I was going to be forced to redo the actual combat parts. I kind of figured sensibly that cleared rooms would, would remain cleared. Because why would you want to program it to work any other way? But the answer is because you're one of the people who programmed Rain World. And that's just your bag, baby. You know what? Just go over. 
No, never mind. Having some trouble going over. Okay, there we go. Okay, I have enough. I have enough food in my belly. Let's. And then there's a place to sleep in here, right? Yeah, okay. So, we're going to have to redo a portion of this to get back to the place where I didn't clear all the rooms fully. And, you know, this is, this is the thing I was worried about, <laughs> was that we might end up having to retrace and redo because there's so much branching going on, but only one thing is the right way and the rest of it just forms a big loop. I would so much rather have little dead ends than the big loop. Did I just get credit for killing a lizard just now for the first time? Maybe I haven't been killing them? I've been stunning them for long periods of time? Okay, don't close my map. I mean, this is just a challenge room that's... I mean, okay, whatever. We gotta try. At this point, we we must map everything and... But this is just gonna be a different challenge room. Good enough. Yep. So that just takes you to here. That is something that we knew would be the case. This way just takes you to water, right? No, it takes you to an upside down chamber that I didn't understand the shape of pre uh, previously. Can I not eat this? Huh. Okay, weird. Let's read it now. Well, I mean, this is legitimately a different direction. Alright, I wasn't sure that wasn't going to kill me, but, you know, not a lot of options. Okay, and then this just brings you back here. Tiresomely enough. Alright. Huh, just got kicked out of that. That's weird. Is the Fez thing where you're supposed to go? Is it not? I mean, it's definitely just a silly Fez reference, right? Maybe you just go up the main shaft. Doesn't seem... That seems like it would be very weird, given the presence of that thing on the left, but... No, I guess this is it. I guess this... this is... Just be very careful. Why are you not taking... There we go. Why are you not enjoying the consequences of your death? You 
yeah, I mean, this is... No, it is not going somewhere new. Shit. Okay, so now we've done all that. Let's... I don't know. There's another vertical shaft on the map that we haven't just gone all the way upward, it looks like. What? I think a jump got eaten by me stepping off of a piece of uneven terrain there. Because, you know, Rain World's all about, always all about, like, weird, greebly detail instead of readability. So I think I, I a jump got eaten by me stepping off of uneven terrain and that caused me to to not jump and to just step forward into the goop instead. This wasn't actually all that bad as far as these go. I'll take that. So it turns out we're going to the same place no matter what. What's like the fastest way there? These two rooms are completely disconnected. And we've never seen how to get into the top area. If the lizard comes back, we'll let him have it. don't want down. I wanted another piece of food, not the huge bug body. Okay, so we know where we're going. Is the next place to sleep close enough? No, probably not. We probably wanna probably wanna just go ahead and do this one right here. So it feels like wherever it is, wherever it is, the, the door that we're missing or whatever, it can't be too too far away from here because there's that part, there's that top half of that room that is just completely mysterious. Can we go further up in this room? No, okay. The game is super bad about, like, clarity on that, on, like, which edges are lethal screen edges. Ah, I don't want you to kill me, but I do want to kill you. What a dichotomy. Feast, feast, feast. Grab one of these and grab one of these. Okay. Like, is it a hidden exit somewhere?
Is there a place to go immediately? More and more it's looking to me like it's the room that I thought was a Fez reference. Maybe we can go down in the garbage waste room? Worth a shot, right? The air in here is very weird. Okay, yeah, this this does give access to a door that looks like it would go to that place. Okay. Is this going to lead us anywhere new? Ah, I missed it. No. That shit really sucks. Like, for there to be a vulture just waiting for you and the door locks behind you immediately. That's not even... Like, what, what the fuck are you supposed to do? Is the answer is don't miss your first attack. But also, what if it just wasn't like that? <sighs> All right. Just get our axe back here. Take that. How dare you claim my bottom right leg? All right. Food and weapons. What a wonderful combination. What am I trying to do? I'm, I am not actually eating this one. I am carrying this one. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> Kind of sounds like I don't know what I don't know what I think that sounds like. I will say it's extremely satisfying being able to like trivially kill those things. Okay, let's try this again. I guess I probably want to just like chill right here and let my let my meter refill. So okay, let's try to make sense of this space in regards to what else we know. We end up up here eventually, and this just spreads out over everything. This actually does seem to be a sort of a unique path. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Well, the thing might end up being that this is just a, this is a dead end, actually. Right, because he doesn't have any chains extending in any other directions. But why would there be a dead end?
Okay, no, it goes somewhere. Ah! <laughs> that was a little, a little close. I was getting very worried, actually, that I had not made a horrible error. Really thought my tongue was going to be able to grab that bar. Okay, so he doesn't doesn't necessarily signal to you from maximum distance all of the places that he's blocking. Oh, please stop descending. Okay. I guess we're just... I'm gonna wait a second here. But I guess we're just gonna... We're just gonna fly left? That gets so close to you. <laughs> Alright, let's go see. Right. Right, now I recognize this. And then it takes us shit. Shit. Well, we're close to a place to sleep. Let's just let's just go and do that. Full health? Yeah. Ugh, frustrating. Okay. So let's let's get a little get a little shot eye here. Let it save. I feel like we've gotta be really close, which makes me you know, reluctant to stop the episode and then like have another one happen and have it be ten minutes long. That's what the, that's what's at the top of there. We can't climb that shaft. It's full of murder liquids. <laughs> My least favorite kind of liquids. As far as we know, there's no You know, so we did climb up there. There are there are spots we could climb up. I didn't climb up inside the computer. What would be inside Five Pebbles' computer, right? That's something. All right, let's try that. I'm not giving up yet. I'm not giving up on the episode yet. Just have to look everywhere. Because I know that that area has a closed top in the quote-unquote real world. Although, you know, there are exits up there sometimes for some slug cats. So I guess let's get over there and see what we've been missing. Yeah, I just sort of <laughs> slowly slide upward. In some areas, that seems really dangerous. Oh 
Oh boy. Oh boy. No, everything's fine. Of course it is. How could it not be? Okay, so we have to descend. I can't go up, can I? No. First things first, absolutely not. In no universe will we be dealing with that nonsense. I can't, I can't safely attack at that, at that distance. Show me your vulnerable body parts. Show me where your body lives, you coward. He's just gonna stay right there where he could, yeah, he could tentacle wrap us from either side if we attempted to fight. Oh, here we go, here we go, maybe he's coming? Maybe he's coming. Okay, he's just gonna run. I find this deeply cowardly. Yeah, if you want to back off, I'll deal with you in a second. Okay, we probably only need like three bars to do two shots. just being annoying really all right well if this guy hangs out in this area for just a few more seconds we can we can pop him too What a good spot to do it. Also, I accidentally destroyed my spear and really couldn't have picked a better time. Okay. So from here, should be no problem. I guess I should probably wait a second. still hearing the noises. Ugh, there's another one below us. Well, can I just go up into... No, I cannot. You can see why I might think we could. It's an open top screen below an open bottom screen, but... You know, rain world. It's definitely safe position here. And we'll uh, scout around a bit. There is definitely still experimentation that can be done in this area. Whew. It's getting to be a long one, but I have all this momentum and I am so... I am so worried about losing it. <laughs> so let's just, let's just push forward. Slug cap party. Gotta get our morale back up. Okay. Let's do the thing. So upward this time. I can't believe it didn't even occur to me. It's just like, this is what I always use this hallway for, right? To just run in here, save, and then continue along the underhang. 
I got so used to it over the, the many, many times that we came through here. So let's see what's up top in this version of the universe. By which, of course, I mean hell. Okay, that seems significant. The entire world is sort of wibbly wobbly, and that over there is the source. Well, I do know how to get over there. And our friend, the food bug, is leading the way. I'm not sure that we will need to eat again. But... Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> well... Sadly, much of the food was lost. Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. So, okay, hold on a second. This may be asking for trouble for information we don't need, but where does this go? To a screen that doesn't seem to be connected to anything else. Okay, you know what? Let's investigate the source of the Wubble. We'll come back. If that turns out not to be the thing, we'll come back. I'm definitely worried about getting just like, um, getting locked in to a combat room that I am not prepared for. Oh, wait. This is one of those good spears. Which is interesting because we didn't manage to kill that, but okay. Yeah. Things are getting considerably more like this up here. This has got to be the right way. This does feel to me like a little bit of a screw you from the, like one one last middle finger, because they train you to think of that area in that way by making you go through it in that way a hundred thousand times with all the different slug cats. I think I want to go this way. Ugh. It's frustrating um, how the tongue doesn't actually catch on. Okay, yeah, this is something. Okay, but when you when you fire the tongue, you do generate some momentum in the tongue direction, so you actually can steer with it even though it's not catching stuff. Yeah, this is real weird. Also, a little loud. Just going to adjust that a little, just a little bit. Okay. I mean, upward? I'm going to guess upward. very strange version of one of the computers. Huh. Can't actually climb down. There we go. I have to... I guess I was nudging up against the thing to our... to the side there. I have to hold right. Huh. Sure. Okay. So, like, the refraction and stuff... I feel like you see that kind of visual motif in games when you're talking about, like, memories and time streams. And, you know, those things are often... Um, 
connected slash conflated for obvious reasons. So, is this place, is all of the hell that we've been traveling through just like a, a version of our memories of the places? Am I manifesting this to myself? Is that what happens when you come down here? You manifest something? Hey, my spear. My spear got demanifested, apparently. Okay, this is starting to look familiar. I was about to say, if it is about stuff that you manifest, why would the first slug cat have manifested a huge, terrifying void worm? But, um... But never mind, that part happens to everybody. Not everybody arrives at it the same way, but... So we see all the white lights in the distance, which are in the other playthrough coalesced into echoes of the slug cat swimming alongside it to join it at the tree, to join with it at the tree, right? But are they, because the void worm segments are, are also glowing white in that way, are they like... The void worm shaped by... I don't know what to make of any of it. I cannot use my tongue here, by the way. I did try. Well, with the normal slug cat, the thing to do was just to swim for like a really long time. void creature is swimming close enough to us to have an effect on our passage. That also happened with the other one. If things hold here, I'm assuming we're going to get grabbed presently. I probably would as well. I wonder if it means something that the survivor approaches the pool full of void tentacles from the top and has to swim down before he swims up where the saint enters it from the bottom in fact has to climb upward a considerable way to enter it from the bottom because all of the liquid in Rubicon is above you instead of below you and then Just swims upward for what feels like all of eternity. By the way, I have tried all of the different keys and key combinations. I can't fly here. I can't um, manifest my weapon. The thing is, I don't actually know how much of what I had... Like, I mentioned this before. I don't know how much of the swimming I did as the survivor was actually necessary. It's possible that a lot of it was um, never, this seems significant. Seems like 
think it's creating waves from above us. Oh, maybe this way. There's that pincer -y thing. See it coming up in the background. I did not have any control over that, by the way. Okay, we're losing all of our symbols here. Okay, well I have control again. I don't really know what to do with it. I seem to be emitting particles. Huh. Got a tail? It's like... Is it harming us? Is there some sort of matter like spiraling out and off of us? It's not clear to me if I'm supposed to be... I mean, I don't think the things are indicating direction, because they all keep turning in different ways. say like Layering effects are probably not working exactly the way uh, that they might have been hoped to. Huh. 
so he appeared back in the world, but first he appeared, he was like a slug cat shaped echo. So this is what happens when you refuse to leave the cycle. If you, if you find some way to use enlightenment to force yourself back into the cycle or to, to force the creature to not be able to take you out of the cycle or whatever whatever the cycle represents. I mean, I, okay, so one thing we can say for sure is that critical path information, it's very abstract, right? Um, there's probably some more concrete world stuff. Um, I mean, there's definitely some more concrete world stuff on the pearls which I did not want to do the tedious work of carrying around to bring back to Moon so that she would read them to us because it is tedious. And because I don't know that, like... Here's the thing. The pearls are going to have information on them about the society that, that you know, went extinct in this place, the society that, that burned out, the society that the Echoes are from, presumably... And particularly as the survivor, as the first slug cat, I didn't feel like it was really our primary concern, right? We had a thing that 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 creature has a particular motivation. It doesn't end up fulfilling that motivation of finding its way back to its family. And I sort of wonder if, you know, finding its way back to its family, back to its people, finding a way to, like, lead the happy life it was trying to lead. Um... And I have to wonder if that is why the gourmand is sort of positioned as the first extra slug cats so that you can get a story that does end that in, in that sort of idyllic way. Um, but yeah, at, at no point did it really feel like it made sense for the slug cat as part of as part of trying to get done what the slug cat wants to get done, fulfilling our fulfilling our goals in character to, like, spend a bunch of extra time lugging pearls around to read text. So that's a big part of why I didn't, why I didn't do it. But, like, I can't imagine that the text would have, any of the pearl text would have clarified the extremely abstract sequences at the end of um, The Saint and the Survivor's playthroughs, right? That would be very strange. <laughs> So I don't know. It's entirely possible that it's just not it's not well defined and it is it is intentionally messy and it's not a thing you're supposed to try to um, break down or tie down too much. I, I suspect that's probably the case because otherwise they would have given us some kind of like legend or key uh, to it. It is really interesting, though, like to be. To be honest, in a lot in a way, it feels like a lot of the extra slug cats what they were was sort of like backfilling lore like the purpose of their campaign was to fill in information about the things in the world that the survivor experiences or in the case of the saint can experience might not have experienced um, rather than actually like telling stories about the slug cats themselves so much although I suppose the artificer is a little bit the, the Artificer and the Gourmand are, are a little more self-contained, but the Gourmand almost just feels like fan fiction about the survivor, you know? Um, the, the, the slug cat who finds a way to really, like, um, revel in the pleasures of this world and, and not want to leave the cycle. And I think that makes that makes a lot of sense with them basically being fan fiction, right? Like it was not the developers of the original game who wrote or made any of this stuff, as is my understanding. I might be wrong about that. Feel free to look it up before you um, <laughs> before you take me seriously. But I, I feel like this. I think this was all made by fans, like a, a small group of dedicated fans, as you saw there in the in the credits. Um, and so that's, you know, it feels like fan fiction because it, it literally is fan fiction. Um, but I don't know that it really... 
I kind of think the setting and the the reality of the thing benefits from the mystery, and I think that while I while I do think that the story that is told about um, five pebbles and looks to the moon is like it's an interesting story that is well told. I don't know that it's better than just leaving things kind of mysterious. I will say that I think I think that the saint in sort of like trying to explain the echoes a little bit did it in a very light touch way that I actually really appreciate where it it does feel like um, it feels like we got more vibes about them but not necessarily a lot of answers about them I think gameplay wise I don't know. I don't know which ones, which one of the slug cats I liked the most gameplay wise, but as far as like the story and the way it fills in, or you know, to some extent doesn't fill in things about the world, um, I think the saint was my favorite. Also, the world, uh, you know, the world, the world of the saint is really, really like insanely hostile, but not in a way that feels quite as frustrating as some of the others. Um, you know, with the artificer, you're, you're dealing with, like, scavengers bullseye you from off screen all the time. And the rivulet certainly has some frustrating difficulties. Uh, but, yeah, I think I think that the, the saint, for the most part, manages to feel really threatening and intense without without being frustrating there is in fact a lot of food there is in fact a lot of places to sleep um and you just have to make through make it through very difficult circumstances from one to the other uh and the snow stuff the snow stuff is really beautiful i think that counts that helps that's a big part of it so yeah anyway i do believe uh, i'm not going to try to like pontificate on what i think the meaning of it was uh anymore from here listen we're all we're all adults capable of drawing our own conclusions. Um, but if y'all, uh, I'm, I'm sure there's, you know, a hundred thousand YouTube videos with all the extra lore from the pearls and all that. If you really want to like know all of the text, I'm sure it is out there for you. Um, but yeah, that's, that's downpour. I think we're, I think we're done with it. This has been an ordeal in some good ways and some bad ways. I really think rain world is, I know I've said this before, but I, I want to reiterate. I really think Rain World is quite a singular thing. It has... It has a feeling that is unlike any other game I've ever played. And it's just really a shame that it's held up by so many, like, deeply boneheaded design decisions. And there are places where it's, like, bad design decisions and places where it's... Um, it's like, hey, it looks like they probably couldn't implement that in the way that they wanted. Like places, places where it seems like technical limitations or maybe, you know, the limitations of of the developer ability. Because I believe they were quite young. I believe it was, it was only a couple of people and they were quite young when they made it, so. We're going to get a good multiplier from our unspent passages, at least. Somehow... Um, I got credit for exactly one lizard kill, despite, how, like, there's no way that I killed a lizard. Oh, no, that's not true. So it's not counting our, our super weapon, but I did kill a lizard with a spear during Rubicon uh, with one of the special spears. That's the one that's being counted. That's really interesting. I wonder why they decided to score it like that. Not that the scores matter at all. Okay. Cool, sure. Yep, and now he has become he has become an echo. And as an echo, his perception is that he is back in the same set of cycles. Maybe that's how they're all perceiving their lives and the things that we get from them are are not them talking to us directly, but like I don't know, cast off thoughts, internal monologue that they, that they don't realize they're sharing. Hmm. Interesting. 
Anyway. You know, Rain World. That's Rain World. Uh, that's going to be it for us for today and for this universe for some time. Uh, there is a another expansion coming. It is in the works um, called The Watcher that is being written and developed by the original, um, the original writers and developers. And... You know what? When that comes out, we'll do it. I'm interested. We'll do. It. They they got me. They got me hooked enough. Um, but until then, that's it for us for Rain World. Thank you all so much for watching, for slogging through this journey with me. When you come back next time, there's going to be something else going on in this slot, and we'll see you then.